traveling all over New England and we're making a stop right here in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Very hungry. Now we're gonna enjoy some really good comfort food. VT Smokehouse, a legendary place. Everything is made from scratch. I hear that they have some really cool things on the menu. The brisket just melts in your mouth. This is the home run. We're gonna to have to check it out here in Sturbridge at BT Smokehouse. Join me. I'm Brian Treitman. I'm the owner of BT Smokehouse. I'm really glad to have you here today. We've got a lot of great things for you to try. Oh, wow, look so at that. Here we've got some of our brisket up top and our pork butts underneath. Briskets go in for about 24 hours, pork butts for about 18. Outside of it here, um, that's called a bark. Yeah. Um, and it's basically the caramelized fat and the rub to make a mixture of this really crispy bark that's on the outside. So we're gonna to start today with a brisket Reuben. It's one of our signature sandwiches. So we start with a brown honey wheat bread. It's a bread that I had my bakers make for us. Put a little bit of Swiss cheese on it. So then it comes off the grill and we'll put some of our house-made coleslaw on it. And then we add a pickled rye sauce. It's our version of a Thousand Island dressing, but it's got um, pickles in it. And then we put our smoked brisket on top of that. And then we'll slice that in half and put it on a platter. Yeah, and you can have a bite of it. I will sample that. Here we go, here we go. Nice toasted bread. Mm. That's absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Don't you want this? Wow. Yeah, I come here a couple times a week. I enjoy uh, everyone here. It's a great atmosphere. Everyone's pretty welcoming and they just enjoy what they do. We had the mac and cheese. We had some coleslaw from the cornbreads, from the bacon bits. The best barbecue I've ever had. When you decided to create BT's Smokehouse here in Sturbridge, what do you want to bring to the area that didn't exist before? The cool thing about barbecue is it's comfort food. Um, and, you know, I wanted to create this space that was really comfortable um, and be part of the community. There's a lot of things that I see in front of us here, and they all look absolutely amazing. But what are some of the other things on the menu, Brian, that we're not seeing in front of us right now? We're not just meat. We do a, we do a great chopped salad. Um, we do, uh, you can put any of our meats on it, but um, we also have a um, catfish po' boy. Um, that's a lot of fun. We try to do specials on a, on a daily basis. We make sausages on occasion, um, and it's really a, the whim of, of my cooks. Now, there's a monster platter in front of us here that looks really incredible. <laughs> oh my God. What do we have here? And so that's this This here. We've got the brisket and it's, um, again, smoked for 24 hours. Um, on top of that, we have some of our uh, spare ribs. Um, we cook the whole spare rib. We don't do baby backs. We've got some of our pulled pork. Um, again, that nice bark on the outside, a nice pink smoke ring, um, super tender melt in your mouth meat. Pulled chicken. We cook uh, boneless, skinless thighs and then shred them. Um, and that's our pulled chicken. Uh, one of our newer items is is our uh, double smoked pork belly, and so that's our house cured bacon um, that we re-smoke and then slice it and and serve it as pork belly. I was eyeing this chicken over here, uh, Ryan. Uh, looks like some buffalo chicken, huh? Look at the size of those pieces. Tell us about that. So these are our um, buffalo chicken legs. The way things are with wings right now, we. It's, it's hard to do wings, and, but we've decided that these are way better. And then there's all these fixins, the sides here that look absolutely amazing too. Uh, let's start with this. What is this? We have some of our um, snacks, which are our bacon bites over here, which are it's crispy bacon bites. And so that's our, again, our house here bacon. Then you have some of our Brunswick stew, uh, which is basically all of our smoked meats um, along with collards, and black-eyed peas in a barbecue stew. Then our sides, uh, I gave you a little bit of stuff that we have. So you have a carrot slaw, it's a carrot raisin salad. And then the uh, cucumber salad is kind of like a cool, refreshing side. And then our, our house slaw, which is different than most coleslaws that you find in New England. Less mayonnaise, more vinegar, um, and then it's got a little bite from our, our rub that we put in there. I also noticed that the chef was cooking up a big pan of mac and cheese. And we were talking about that a little bit. Tell us more about that mac and cheese. So the mac and cheese is made with cavatappi pasta, and then we use fontina, cheddar, and gorgonzola cheese, and that's a little bit of fontanella. 
Um, and so it's, it's an adult mac and cheese. You know, you were talking about these uh, potato balls here, and I love anything potato anyway. And you do a lot of different kinds, right? What are these? So these ones are loaded baked potato balls. So it's, again, our house cured bacon, uh, cheddar cheese, potatoes in a fritter batter. And then we're serving it with some scallions and uh, sour cream. And then what is this here? This is looks like a bread pudding? Yep, so that's our Samoa bread pudding. And we always have a bread pudding on the menu. I can't wait for you to jump in and try it. Hey Brian, this was absolutely amazing. The food is absolutely delicious. The atmosphere is great. Appreciate all the uh, good food and the hospitality. We've been here for 15 years and it's, you know, we're, we're one of the number one barbecue joints in New England. Yeah, we will be back for sure. I tell you, it really is amazing, folks. You've got to come here to Stirbridge. Now, that's my perspective. You're going to love it, PT Smokehouse. But what's your perspective, New England? Get yourself here to Stirbridge, Massachusetts. It's easy off I-84. Get ready to be bowled over with the aromas and the flavors of the incredible BT Smokehouse here in Stirbridge. It's amazing. I'm just going to keep eating. It's that good.